Okay, kit review time. Today we've got the Tacom, or Tacom. Uh, we've got the Leopard. This is the uh, Leopard 1 A5 C2 version. It's what we call the two-in-one kits. We've seen these before and we were very impressed with them. As you can see, very nice box art, a little bit different. Normally, obviously you get a picture of something else like that, but we've got profile shots here, okay? Lots of technical details about it. Talking about the kit itself, as you can imagine, and all the rest of it. And then when you're waking your way around, as you can see, we've got a uh, Yugoslavian sniper figure. Going to come with it. And some just some little details around on the box. Looking at the sprue shots, which is quite a nice touch there as well. And up on the end there. So basically, in the box, we get... Okay, as you can see, quite well stuffed box. Uh, various parts down in here. This is obviously our little figure we were talking about earlier. Okay, and everything else. So what we're going to do is just have a quick move that way just a minute, just to get down to the nitty gritty down the bottom here. So as you can see, we've got one piece seal bag, which is quite a nice touch like that, keeping it all nice and flat and safe. Okay. So, in the bag, we've actually got, we'll keep this quite separate. We've got, we'll look at them straight away just here. We've got the headlights, which seem to be very nicely done, very nicely clear. They've got a nice sort of um, convex look to them, so it's actually working very well. Okay, I'll pop them back in the bag whilst we do it. Okay, and then we've got the actual booklet itself. So as you can imagine, it's basically talking about the actual uh, the leopard itself and its development phase and everything through that. Okay. Uh, usual gump as we go through. So basically what we've got down here, we've got the parts call out as you can go right the way through and then we're going in with it. So as you can just imagine, it's the usual thing, working our way through the lower hull, the wheels going in, which is what we sort of expect. Okay, and then obviously we're just gonna be making our way through more wheels going on, the lower hull, so we've actually got the actual track unit itself, go parts going on there for attachment on the rear, the other parts. Working onto the upper hull, uh, this I believe is photo etch, uh, so we'll have to have a look at that in a moment. Okay, and then obviously the forward hatch, working with the upper hull, adding all the little details down onto that one. A couple of call outs which are in Tamiya as we're making our way through. Okay, again, more of the little parts going on, got the lights going on, things like that, the stowage equipment, various uh, operational items down here, the side skirts going on down there and everything else. Okay, and then we've got this guy, which has got the color call out for the painting of it, which is a little bit uh, nicely done because you've actually got obviously the parts themselves and what we're calling out, so we're calling out gum metal, the dark yellow, the chrome silver, olive drab, various ones as we're making our our way right the way through this it's quite a nice touch okay and then obviously usual thing going on putting the tracks all on there so no doubt there's going to be a lot of that going on which is uh, one of those things of having fun with okay and then obviously we're going down with all the parts for the hull as some of the turrets stowage upper turret again so obviously we're talking about the various parts all going down in here photo etch parts being bent to put in the guns system and everything else going on the hatches open or closed okay and then obviously we're going along with that top one with that turret on there again with this sort of um i don't know what type of armor that is thin <laughs> uh, which actually bolts onto the side of it and then obviously you've got the color call outs for the figure and the turret going on okay then we're going on down in here so you've got your color call outs and everything else like that but as you may notice it then flips over and that is because that version is for the Leopard 1 A5, or you can build it as the Leopard C2. Okay, now obviously the Leopard C2 is the Canadian version versus the German version. So obviously in here, you've got exactly the same kit as it goes through, obviously as we, what we've just seen, but with the differences, mainly on the upper turret, I do believe, between this and the actual, uh, the German one we've just seen. So you can do the Canadian one, hence whilst you get then the diagram. So that's why it is a two-in-one kit, because obviously you can do the C2 or the normal A5 version of the Leopard. Again, it's quite a nice little touch. So usual thing when you're doing with armor, we've got our poly caps all down here, as you can see, usual thing, nothing exciting. We've got some steel braided, or copper, is it steel? Copper. 
uh, cable, okay, that's for it. The trouble with those is, is actually bending them and getting them to go round and everything else like that. I tend to like put a weight on them to straighten them out and then start to bend them. The photo etch set, which I won't get out, but as you can see, it's a beautiful little set. So we've got your nice uh, grills and the extras. We were talking about the parts that needed bending, um, the actual uh, periscope uh, covers, things like that on there as you make your way through. So that's a nice touch. Two sets of decals, as we know. So down here, obviously, we've got the one for uh, the actual, uh, the German forces. And then obviously, we've got the K4 ones as well, which is a nice touch. And obviously, for the Canadian as well. So there we go. Right, okay, let's have a look at the little figure. I'm not gonna have to worry about getting him out because he is pretty minute and all the rest of it. But you see, it's nice, level of detail. You got him, two sniper rifles, okay. And then obviously he will be posable exactly where you want him. So you can either have him holding the rifle itself or without, hence you get two guns. Okay, and the actual figure himself, get the glare off. Doesn't look too bad, I think it will go quite well. And his face, yeah, I think he, he looks at the part. No problem with that. Okay, so beautifully bagged up. So it's all in little separate bags and everything else. And to give you an idea of the scale, so we've got the top and lower part. So if we start on the lower hull, no problems at all. Okay, looking quite nice details with these. As you can see, just right off the bat, no problem with any of that at all. So we said some of these are already molded in. So you can either see of it will save you a bit of time doing it, or you know add those on. Um, there is a little bit of weld detail, but nothing you would go wow about. There is a couple of little weld seams around here. Okay, and we've got the upper part for the turret as well. So as you can see, quite nicely done, crisply moulded. No sign of anything. Obviously, once it's got all that stowage on and everything else like it. Okay, and working our way through. So not too bad with that at all. Okay, in bag one which is the green sprue. Okay, so what we've got down here, we've got the upper turret, okay? Seems to be very nicely done. Can't see any problems with that. It has got that nice texture to it of being uh, cast and the, during the manufacturing process, transferred very well onto the plastic. So as you say, you've got this detail. Some of it's already on here. Sometimes you have to add these afterwards. But as I said, you have got little weld marks running right the way around the turret as well. So as you said, when you glue this bit to this bit, don't worry about it too much because you will have a nice big weld on there anyway. So as I said, we've got some nice texture, you can see down on here for the actual, the gun itself, the cover over the top. That's very nicely done. Looking at all the sprue generally, got no problem with that at all. No sign of flash. Uh, we've got no nasty ejector pins. You know, obviously they're all present, but they're quite shallow, okay? But generally looking around, as you can see on some of these parts, they do look very nicely done. I can't see any problem with that. The barrel got some nice details down here on the barrel and working our way right the way over as you can see. So I can't see any problem with that at all. Some nice details, especially around this hatching. It's very crisp, very precise. Okay, so this is somewhat of an order. Okay, so next up. This is what the one I was interested in about some of this detailing on the side. So as you can see, you've got your, you know, your normal sort of call out for your sprue and everything else like that, working all your way around it. But the only thing I don't know is that, the best way to show you, this detail in here, if we catch it in the light, you can see it's very quite nicely, quite sharp there in the light. It looks pretty good. Okay, and on this one as well. But these forward ones, they just look a little bit soft. Now, I'm no armor expert, as we all know, okay? But I don't understand why this is very nicely sharp and this is soft. The only thing I can imagine is the way the mold is laid out, okay, and it goes through. But it does seem to be always on this downward part. So for instance, when we're looking at these two guys here, again, catching it in the light, seems to be nice detail, seems soft here. It could be that's how it is on the real thing because I can't understand why these have got it and not else ones or it could be that it's that complex for doing it it's not got it okay it hasn't worked out as well as what they were thinking but as you can see this is this extra armor areas down in here it doesn't look too bad at all it does look pretty good no problems with that at all okay so usual thing we've got the mg 
on the top here and the various items for it. it seems to be quite nicely done okay some of the little items so we've got the aerials and the various things like that going on up here again doesn't look too bad at all i'm working our way through let me just change the map around to more of a clean side so you can see these details a little bit clearer without having all the rubbish behind okay see that it tends to be quite nicely done a little bit of flash uh but they're on the actual uh ejector pin releases anyway so i won't worry too much about that generally it seems to be quite good i've got no sign of burring or anything else like that looking at the details like even down in here they look quite nice i've got no problem with it any of this at all looks pretty good okay so another green one well we're not going to get that one out of the bag i don't think because it's just tons of everything these are the caps i do believe for the uh, the actual um, tracks themselves so as you can see many many of them down in here but you've got the actual end uh, drives looking quite nice nice detail no problem with those at all very sharp very crisp okay. being all in green this it's probably covered with my camera on the cutting mat okay so we've got a match pair of sprues here as you can imagine just like this but having a look around them as you can see we've got the, the actual shafts running across they will look pretty nice okay some of the smaller details seem to be cast very nice as well so I'm working our way around all of this no problem with this at all seems to be all very good can't see any problems with any of the mold everything else okay you know if you want to get picky it's a little bit softly molded in there could be a little bit sharper when you're dealing with bolts and things like that so all of these wheel ones they look a little bit soft but generally we're all okay okay and we're just working our way around everywhere again nothing you would go massively overboard because it is what it is it's actually very nicely done So down in here, again, pretty nice, no problem at all. So we've got some nice details down on here with all the various uh, latches and handles and things like that. They all seem to be very nicely done. Let's say casting on this is pretty good all the way around. Uh, looking at some of these smaller parts, no sign of flash, everything else. Obviously the more Canadian modern uh, machine gun there again working our way through and as you can see all the ejector pins are nicely flattened down pretty nice all of that can't see a problem with any of those okay and we can have a look at the side skirts and see how they look and obviously what i've been waiting to see to see if they are the same as the other ones okay so as you can see these are the side skirts and these are molded a lot nicer but they're still not as clean as perhaps you would have hoped for they're okay but i don't know it's just the detail is either there or it's non-existent it looks like it's such a fine area perhaps it was pulled from the mold a little bit quick something else like that but generally it does seem to be all nice there's no problems with it at all it's just the way it is i'm sure it by the time it's had a wash some filtering things like that on there it'll be absolutely fine so as i said we've got these front arches as well quite nice detail but again it's just i don't know the the riveting or bolt i should say detail on these top ones it's just a little bit soft it's not as sharp as perhaps you would want I've got a tiny little bit of flash on this sprue just on some of this stowage equipment on these shovels things like that the axes and things they've got a little bit of uh, flash on them okay and the equipment just a little bit not as sharp as perhaps we've seen in recent builds and kits and things like that but generally it is armor you get away with so much more of it and obviously this so in here we have got these are rubber i'm not going to get all these out so basically we've got the rubber um you know obviously for the tracks the connectors and obviously the track itself on the little rubber feet so as you can see this is one of those ones where you spend an evening making tracks and everything else like that okay it's not the sharpest bit of armor we've seen recently but definitely it is very clean very nice and obviously if you're in the map you know you want to do a leopard perhaps you just want one for the stash at least this way you can do the canadian version or the german version you know no problem at all but definitely highly recommended for your leopard stash